everybody's having a good time. Yeah. That is, until it's time for me to do the dishes. Sylvia, let me take care of the dishes. My butler, Jeffrey, can be here in 15 minutes. <laughs> How about if we do them together? Then what'll Jeffrey do? For believe me, my dad is a great guy. I mean, when I lost my job and he kicked me out of the house, he let me live out back. He kicked you out of the house? Well, he didn't actually kick her out of the house. He just changed all the locks and told her she didn't live there anymore. We promised your mother that you're here to work hard, straighten out, and learn some good old-fashioned American values. Dad, I need $300. <laughs> Hillary, your cousin Will is here. Hi. Dad, I need $300. <laughs> That's a lot of money, Hillary. What for? I need a new hat. Yo, when is G getting back? I'm starving. Don't worry, Will. I made breakfast. Oh, damn, I'm full. Couldn't eat another bite. Come on, Will. I know what I'm doing. Remember, I was a professional caterer. And you still would be if you hadn't poisoned those nuns. Hey, the autopsy was inconclusive. Guess what? You're not going to believe this. You paid for your own dinner. Are you insane? I'm going to be interviewed by the LA Weekly. Now that I'm a famous weather girl, people want to know the real me. Now, if anyone asks, I'm 21 and I fought in Desert Storm. OK, Hillary, it's your turn. I'll ask you a question. <laughs> All right, would it bother you much if upon your death, your body was simply thrown into the woods and abandoned? Mm. Does it say what I'm wearing? <laughs> Jeffrey, this envelope contains Mrs. Banks' sonogram. It's going to tell us whether or not the baby's a boy or a girl. How can you tell if it's a boy or a girl? Oh, Ashley, you are so naive. If it's a boy, it's blue. 